So a postmenopausal pelvic floor that is a red flag in my brain is it is losing color. It is pale. There are there is a thinness to the tissue. The tissue feels like tissue paper and doesn't have a plump uh, spring to it. There is also in extreme cases something called lichen sclerosis, which is a dead giveaway that that pelvic floor needs estrogen. There is also sometimes banding that occurs. So as a seasoned women's health physical therapist and a pelvic floor physical therapist, I can usually spot that a mile away. Now, keep in mind, sometimes people OBGYNs aren't looking at the pelvic floor because maybe the patient declined it, or maybe they're not due for a pap smear. Um, maybe that doctor was in a hurry, but um, it is not uncommon that I see postmenopausal women who have horrific changes in the skin of the pelvic floor that is causing their vaginismus, vulvodynia, burning, frequent UTIs because the vaginal tissue has a lot of estrogen receptors and some people, their vaginal tissue does not fare well postmenopausal. So say they're on an estrogen patch, they could be on a topical vaginal estrogen if they have symptoms of burning, pain, itching, dryness. Those genitourinary symptoms that are postmenopausal are absolutely worth treating 100 percent 100 percent and if you have these symptoms please go back and talk to your OBGYN because i don't want you to have an increased risk of infection i don't want you to have pelvic pain pelvic pain eventually messes with women's brains like literally messes with women's brains and we don't want that we do not want that